testing one two three good morning my high priestess collective it's sunday 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 (laughs) and i am just going to be starting a series just for my high priestesses we're going to keep this it's going to be quick and dirty all right like what's coming up in your like it, it doesn't have to be every week right i was trying to do the sundays but like things are moving like things are finally going back, you know, station direct. And there's just a lot of energy. Like the energy isn't so stagnant and heavy with all of those retrogrades. It's like all the post shadows are up. Things are moving. It's really intense. And if I can feel it, I damn sure know you can. That eclipse yesterday has just like, it's like, oh, I just got, oh, that's really bad. Okay. I'm talking to my high priestesses, trigger warning. I just got like someone who's about to hang themselves and like, I see a chair. This is really bad, but a chair, the chair getting kicked out from underneath them. So yeah, I think that, um, the karma around the people that have not been the most lovely, I don't know. Yeah. I'm like not been the most lovely to you is coming in hard and fast. I feel like there's a, yeah, because, you know, Saturn is about to station rich. So everything that we've done in this past karmic season is like what's going to be playing out for the next year until the next retrograde. And so I feel like a lot of people are going to get the chair kicked out from underneath them very abruptly, right? We are in eclipse season. We just went through our solar eclipse yesterday, and then we have that partial lunar eclipse, which is two days Uh, October 28th, which is, yeah, going to be really intense. Do y'all see what's going on back there? Like, I am telling you, this is the most magical, crazy house I've ever been in. I promise I don't have any, like, crystals hanging up. I just, okay, like, now it's, like, wigging me out. Like, I've had so much extraterrestrial, is that the word, uh, paranormal, like, stuff um, in this house? And I know it's all my guides, but still, like, that's just, just weirding me out. Okay. Hey, priestess, I think everybody's in the house for you. And now the Virgo in me, the OCD, is like, well, i got to make it even. It's got, okay. That's good. It's got to be the the trees, like the sun dappling in. Wow. That's really cool. We're just going to, okay, we'll roll with it. It's like nature's disco ball. Woo, woo. All right. Okay. I I need to put this in because I'm obviously not speaking into it. So I got channelings, which it's like the first time in a long time that... I haven't had, anyways, we won't get into that. Needless to say, I'm just, my, my stations are coming in a lot more clear because of my energy and my environment. Um, so I got a channeling that, um, so you've got somebody in your energy field and I don't know where this is going to resonate with somebody because it's ridiculous and I feel ridiculous saying it, but it's fee, fi, fo, fun. I smell a person that's a lot of fun. <laughs> dad jokes, dad vibes. Uh, this person, it's not telepathic. It's tell they they are able to teleport. I know we're starting off like really crazy and whatever, but I mean, astraling is basically teleport. But it's kind of like teleporting. I think is more like astraling and remote viewing at the same. Time. I don't know. I don't know much about this stuff, and I know I sound like a crazy lady, but the universe has got my back. So, um. They are honest and they are transparent, but it's on their own terms. So this is a person that's very, I don't feel like they mean to mislead you, but they definitely omit, right? It's lies by omission. So just be really careful with this person. I think they're very um, charismatic. I feel like they're just a really great soul, but you do need to be careful here. Okay. And that's all I got for that. So let's just go ahead and pull some cards and then we'll move on. Okay. Okay. cinnamon tea it's good for the metabolism and it doesn't require any like i mean it's nice but i i i'm lazy and honey is expensive and i like getting the good stuff you know the local honey with my allergies and stuff oh my gosh this is crazy let's do i'm like let's go over here like that's just so distracting okay so pile number one for my high priestess collective and priest Hi, priests and priestesses. Um, I just, I can have a lisp and a stutter, so I try not to go with the lots of S's at the end. Oh, let's see here. So what's, what's, uh, who's in your energy and why? Who's in your energy and why? Yeah, I know I do feel like the end. Okay, a knight of swords and a king of cups. Is this two different people? It fell completely two, two different ways. 
oh my goodness, now I need to have like a, nobody's really talking. <laughs> and you have the queen of swords with her back turned to everybody. Who's in your energy? Oh my gosh, and a queen of wands. There's so many people here. You have so many people in your energy right now, but it's like communication has come to like a standstill. No, no, this is you. Pardon me. There isn't a queen. You are the queen of wands. People are very, very, very attracted to you, but you are not. I hear suffer no fools. Come correct or don't come at all. Enough. Yeah, no. Um, you're very clear. You're very direct. You're very self-focused. Look at, I mean, look at these two queens. She's like off to, her back is completely completely turn. Oh my gosh, there's another card here. Judgment. There's, okay. So there's an X here and then there's a new person. Period. I got a judgment with the King of Cups. All right. And he's, both of them were wonky though. <laughs> the Knight of Swords is like, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. But it, it's not completely on the fence where there's nothing's happening. It's like, you know, this is the person that like, I, they come in really quick because it's the Knight of Swords, right? It's swords. It's really quick communication. And then they're out and you may not hear from them for a couple days and you're like, okay and i like consistency if you're not going to be consistent i'm going to match your energy that's exactly what you're doing and then we have a, a king of cups here that feels like under judgment like wants a, a new like this is total renewal energy here and you've got literally your back to them uh here and then the eight of wands came out in the horizontal which is like it's neutral it's like waiting like people are on the fence right like who's going to do what and here you are as the queen of wands like I've got something I'm working on. I've got something I'm doing. Something has my attention and it's not anybody else. It's like self-focus, queen of wands, right? You are the mystic and you are the mistress and you are the, the person that doesn't really give a damn what other people think of you, right? Self-focus. People are like, oh, selfish. No, it's called self-centered because I am the center of my universe. Call me conceited. Yeah, I, I, I won't put that out there, but yeah, I think highly of myself as I well should, right? That's called being a healthy adult. Uh, and here with the seven of wands, yeah, I don't feel like you're like lashing out at people. You're not being like, you're, I don't even think you're being vulnerable. I think you're just being open and you're like, well, come when you're ready. It's like feeding the strays, like, right? Come when you're hungry and we can spend that time together, but I'm not gonna go chasing around trying to trap you and bring you into my home and wash your hair and rub your tummy and give you milk. <laughs> you're like, I'm looking for that person to do that for me. <laughs> Ooh, solid. I'm like, I just want to go off the back of that. Yeah, Ace of Cups, you're full of love, right? You're full of love. You are a queen of, of cups. But right now, your discernment is on point. And I mean, who would, because <laughs> you know the truth, discernment, Ace of Swords. I'm like, do we really need to continue? No, let's try and keep these short. Yeah, you know what day it is. Oh, the tower. Did you bring in the tower? I think you are a tower energy in yourself, high priestess and high priests, right? And people that don't even think or consider themselves, like then you're in training. If you are still listening to this, then you you know what I'm talking about. You know that you can bring the pain and you might've been like held back, whatever, because my high priest, I'm talking to my masculines too. I do feel like I've got a couple of you, uh, right? Because I've known you and you watch me and I've, you know, this is who I am. I am who I am, who I am. But I'm just talking to a collective that's masculine, not necessarily just blessed with that type of plumbing. Um, but there's definitely an energy here where it's like, you have decided to be the tower bringer. You decided to tear things down before the universe. Like I have um, some divine masculines that are stepping up to the plate and stepping into their true nature after being in a long slumber of healing, you know, a healing phase. And so, yeah, it's, it feels really good. And I'm so blessed and grateful for you. Pile number one for watching. Let's get into pile number two. Okay. I want to use it. Yeah. I want to use another different deck. I don't have the time. It's not that I don't have the time to clear. I just don't have the bandwidth to clear. Really? Oh, they got me going to do a super feminine deck here. Not feminine girly. It's just, it's, it's a soft, it's a receipt. It's like like tarot light it's like joel olstein of like the christian community people are like <laughs> right the temptation card like the devil card isn't even the it's the temptation card it's very 
It's very, um, and so is this deck as well, right? We, why is the Light Seer's Tarot one of the most famous and popular decks in the world? Because it's so inclusive, right? There's everybody in there and it's just, it's gorgeous. Yes. And the Muse deck, I love that. There's this deck, deck which is very, it's my most inclusive deck. And then the Muse deck, which doesn't have any men in it. The Emperor is still a woman. The Kings are Muses, right? Which I love, which actually, you know, at first you thought it's like an anti- masculine type of thing but it's like no the kings it's like almost the worship of men right like a good divine masculine when you have someone who's supportive and inspiring and positive in your life like as a feminine energy or someone that prefers to sit in their feminine like that's just the sexiest thing in the world when somebody makes a decision or like it's just like really not like hemming and hawing type of stuff you're just like that's so yeah ped like it's so pedestrian and i know i sound like a total valley girl i'm like why am i getting out i'm like yeah i'm in your your energy pile number two this is interesting mm. i'm getting a very precise succinct highly intellectual like an air sign a rising sign possibly here pile number two okay um ho what again with the rhyming it's been ridiculous ho dee do that old gnome and I oh yeah like I wanted to show you that deck I'm like I don't have, no I don't have it like I do have it but I don't have my glasses on like I was gonna show it to you and they said don't bother anyways there's this card if you're familiar with the Oracle of the Fairies Brian Froud who is the illustrator of the famous like 80s or 90s late or early 90s movie The Dark Crystal and so he has this oh as my throat chakra that surprise or that hit home somebody with somebody right there. Anyway, so he did this deck, or did this deck, but illustrated this deck, and the fairies, like, I was like, when I got into this stuff, I'm like, fairies, like, I don't believe in, I wasn't even raised to believe in Santa Claus, much less fairies. The fairies really, really like me, <laughs> just like stray cats and dogs and children and old people, uh, right? Uh, and the fairies have made me believe that they are their own little entity and that they exist and, you know, I've always been a girl that went to the Renaissance Fair and, like, you know, I was, like, love that, like, I mean, they, when I really need a read on somebody character-wise, I go to the fairies. Like, they are very revealing. But there's so, I mean, there's so much just getting that deck. And it's, like, the cheapest, crappiest deck I have ever come across in my life. And that's what everybody said. But it's one of the most kick-ass decks as well, especially when you get into, like, character assessment and divination. Okay, we're going to have to start this a little. Pile number two, you are so, like, yeah, total air sign. Can you see? I can't stop, right? So Libra, Aquarius, or whatever. And I think that's your operating language, right? Like you're very, it, you, it could be your sun sign, or you might be a double, but there's an air ascendant here all day long, or just, you know, air in, Sagitt uh, in Mercury placement. Um, someone is in, in a pickle, and they wanted me to write down pickles. And it says pickles. It's in a pickles. A pickles. That doesn't make sense. That's not correct grammar. Um, about you. I can't read my writing to get off the fence, but doesn't have, oh, doesn't have the motivation to get off the fence. They're in a Bardo energy. The Bardo in the, uh, Kim Cran's archetype deck is like limbo, you know, like purgatory. If you grew up a uh, Catholic, uh, just kind of where, um, also you're, Okay, the advice, all of a sudden, and I didn't get advice for anything else. Your advice is to kick your ass in gear. The universe, no, no, okay, the universe wanted to come out. So, so the universe and the astrology, actually, I have it written here, supports you right now moving forward. Like, this is a really, really abundant time. You need to harness this energy. when you, it's, it's like floating downstream instead of paddling up, right? The universe is saying, hey, take your mind, take your attention off of this other person because you don't want to miss, like, this is like, you being in the ocean waiting for a wave, you're a surfer, and there's about to be like a huge set, like three to four or five waves that you can catch. You could probably catch two big ones if you can go in and paddle out quick enough. But there's, I'm, I'm getting like this urgency to someone out there, like you really need to ride this wave. It's going to turn it to, okay, I'm getting like March, February, March. It's going to manifest itself in February, March, like very surprisingly, very quickly. It's like I'm getting this crescendo wave. This is the second time I've gotten that. Um, I don't know. It's that famous um, Japanese 
painting with the wave and it's the second time I've gotten in my mind's eye like there's like this big momentum and it's time for you to get on the wave because if you don't it might be like another like really big cycle like seven to nine years where you get all of this astrology in your favor regardless of what you, you know exactly what it is right now if this is resonating with you whatever you've decided you've been trying to get off the ground it is time to get that on because I feel it's like I'm getting feeling a swell it's like that swell and it's like you need to be able to lift off that thing needs to be able to lift off and take up and and crest right and so this is like this is and especially if you're like a creator or something like that this is called get your a in gear for christmas like right now right now handle your business okay do the things or if you're trying to have something launch in january right? Like the astrological weather right now is like the best. We have been in a holding pattern. It's been like, if you feel like you've been hitting a brick wall, you have been because that's what the astrology, like the big stuff, right? And now things are like turning and we're kind of like, in, but like, don't get distracted. Keep your eye on the prize because like, isn't it so much better to catch a wave than get sucked when the thing is moving back and trying to make more momentum for some, you know what I'm saying? Like paddle downstream folks. I'm telling you 15 minutes. Okay. So, okay, we are in pile two there, right? Yeah. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, okay, the tailings are, it's great. it's great. Take that as confirmation. Okay, moving on. All right, I'm like, how's that going, that action over there? All right. Oh, I changed my light. Maybe someone, oh. I accidentally changed my light. It's like someone was seeing, like you were seeing something and then it, the light changed and you saw it in a different way. It's like, okay, I've got the panorama. Someone is trying to get a bigger, a different perception. Someone is trying to get, that's so, I love how the show works. It's so good. It's so good. So satisfying. Magic, right? Okay, someone is trying to get a bigger scope on who you are. I like that. Okay, this is me uh, writing. When I say channeling, people get weirded out by that. It's just being in flow. It's like if you're an athlete and you get in that space where you're like, or a painter or something like that, or you're making music and you're just like, where did the eight hours go? That's flow. It's also called theta. It's an actual like scientific place where you can, so that's how I didn't get into this because of spirituality. I got into this because I had to learn it. And so I learned like what theta was. Now people are like, that's where you meditate and that's where you this and that's where you conjure and magic. Like, no, I just needed to know how to calm my mind and make the voices stop. <laughs> right. And it's been a, a, like a, I say lifelong, it feels like a lifelong, but it's something that I've really prided myself on being able to manage my emotions and be able to get self-centered, even the most chaotic um, situations. And so it makes it makes me a fantastic flight attendant, except for like my sensitivity to, I don't know, actual people. <laughs> so yeah, they've got, they have a multiple plan, plans and waves. Oh, plan, oh, I was going to say, did I just say waves? Waves, Freudian slip, waves. Okay. They've got multiple, I'm getting, okay. Now I'm getting storming Normandy beach and then we're going to do it again. And if this doesn't work, we're going to do it again. And we're going to come in from this way. And like, yeah, no, someone's like, it's like they're going in the battle or something, but like not in a bad way, just like a, a, a chivalrous, chivalrous battle. I don't know. Regardless of what the plumbing is, like you've got someone, they're genuine and they're sincere. Don't be scared that, oh, they, are, they aren't too much of a good thing. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, this is a warning. <laughs> I like how you think I'm going to have to watch this back. I'm like, this is a warning for me too. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't do nice guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see you, high priestess. No, this is an opportunity. I think this, this is literally like me talking to the collective. That's like, maybe you got like significant Aquarius placements where you're like a born runner. This is like, it's okay. It's not even saying it's going to be. They're like, it's okay. It's okay. It's like scary. Yeah, I'm getting like jackrabbit, like. But somebody's here, like, oh, no, they're, are they trying to spit game at me? It's like all of a sudden you turn off your intuition. Yeah, I feel like you, I, okay, I feel like you're turning off your intuition with this person because I think you, I'm like, I can't, like, I feel like I'm blushing right now. Yeah. Um, this is the second time. You might want to watch that last reading because I was like dimples engaged. There was something that was coming in that I couldn't stop. And I, 
when I went to my Delta interview, like you have a hundred HR people, like this is the sixth interview. It's the last one. You're there with 120 other people, like trying to convince these people that you're going to be a good flight attendant. Like they just, I mean, it's this all day thing. Right. And it's, by the time you get done, like your face is frozen, like it's cramping up from all of the smiling. And that's what I'm, I'm getting like smile cramps because that's how much this person either smiles about you or you smile about them or it's somewhere in the middle. Um, this is, <laughs> I love this. This is not a love bomber, quite the opposite. <laughs> okay. So you might have someone that has like an anxious attachment style. Like they might come in strong and then like pull back. Um, they could have like player ration ways, you know what I mean? Or like, you know, a little, manipulation, navigation, to search social situations. But I mean, it's really, yeah, I'm getting it. I literally, it's so funny that it's like, it's going to be okay. Different deck. Got it. Okay. One more deck and then we'll be good. So, you know what? Oh my gosh. Under 30, I think we're going to do it. They said, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said the first, like, wow. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to look at that reading because this is intense energy. Um, is it next seven days or is it the, um, or why you're so addictive? Is this that? Yeah. No, I felt this energy before. Like, again, it's just, it's real cheesing. <laughs> it's super sweet. It's very, um, I'm getting broth. Oh, excuse me. I'm getting broth. Like, it's very light, but savory. Ooh. There's that food channeling again. Yeah, you have to watch. I'm sorry. If this is resonating with the tower on the bottom and the six of wands on the split. There's another, okay, like, there's another card that made its way in here. The skull. Oh, this is, this is too many spirit. Like, no, we are not. I know that. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to look at that later and find out what that is. But we're not going to do it on here because I got to break out my book. Ah, this person feels at peace. This person puts you at peace. I'm like spitting everywhere. I can feel it. It's like this, um, gosh, yeah, no, I really got this in that last, the perfect spoon. Uh, this person has a lot of, uh, care for you, right? It's not just lust. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Hello, High Priestess. <laughs> Hello. Any Capricorn placements by any chance? Maybe a little Taurus or Virgo splish splash. Yeah, with the devil in reverse. Yeah, it's not a, it's not toxic. There isn't like a this isn't a karmic pull. This isn't like a I must have the chemistries off the hook. This is like a slow burn. This is brisket. This isn't a, a flambe or I don't, what am I saying? A flambe. Right. This is no Texas steakhouse on um, the, the short flat grill with the thing on top of it. This is like low and slow. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Who's in your energy and why? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we may have uh, same sex or we might have a third party. I do have the queen of cups and the upright with the page of cups. You know what? I don't think, I think this is the same person. This is you, High Priestess. You may have someone who's not really, oh. Oh no, this is a totally different person. Is it? Let me feel into this. Is this a different person? Oh, it's a three of pentacles situation. Okay. I think I'm talking to a high priest. <laughs> Take that as confirmation. Yeah, this is a, I'm talking to a masculine and you've got two feminines in your energy right now. One that's not, well, I mean, you got a page of wands in reverse here. So they're childish and a liar, but they're in the upright. So I feel like they're, and they are the queen of cups. So I feel like they've got this feminine nurturing energy that they're trying to like pull you in with. Right. But they're really at heart, like this child, <laughs> just a total child and a, like doesn't tell the truth isn't genuine like really really petty petty betty 
And then you got a queen of pentacles that's like off to the side. And this is like, yeah, no, with the emperor, you can't make this shit up on the bottom. Yeah. So this is definitely like a little bit of a triangle situation. So, um, so who's in your energy, higher priest? Uh, and why and why? Oh my gosh, the lovers. Yeah. Somebody's juggling. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, yeah, I definitely am getting like a, well, I'm getting one that's got a pull and trying to pull and I've got one that's got their back turned. Not in a bad, like they're just, they're focused on something else here, but it's interesting. We got the hermit in reverse with the king of wands. Someone's coming out of, they might have a Virgo placement, but someone's coming out of hermit mode and going into action mode. High priest, uh, high priest, high priest. And what are they moving towards? I'm like, they might just be going, I'm like, I, they might just go solo dolo here. They might not, they might decide to just do their own thing here. Let's see. All of a sudden I'm seeing temperance, like the temperance card here. Like just wanting to be balanced and like the magician. Oh. I mean, we do have the magician in reverse. I think they might just be trying to spin something. Doesn't want to leave anybody out in the cold. So they might be, um, yeah, they might be. I'm just getting a two of pentacles energy, you know, the juggling and the like saying one thing, or whatever. Yeah, with the eight of, eight of cups, they don't want to move on from anything, right? They don't want to leave anybody out. So like now, yeah, with the, we got a nine of cups in reverse wish fulfillment it's like this isn't going to like leave them fulfilled with right because you're splitting your cup and there's there's an eight of cups and there's a nine of cups uh energy here so that means there's a, a ace of cups at play which is about love right so this person is like yeah not making a they're at a standstill right now um and yeah it's like what are we trying to go like yeah they're not going to move I, the fool just went in reverse over here to the left. I don't think that they're going to uh, go with the Queen of Pentacles. I think they're going to stay with the, the immature one. Um, because we do have the Nine of Pentacles here. This person might be too independent for them. Um, oh, sorry. Notification. They might be too independent. They might need to be wanted. You know, oh, with the Five of Cups. Like not knowing who to... No, I feel like this is sorrow about not wanting to invest with another person. Hey, we do have the Knight of Swords here on the bottom, so I don't know what they're going to say, but um, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's get a little more into this. Ace of Pentacles, who are they going to offer it with the Two of Cups in reverse and not feeling strong? It's like they feel like this person, the Queen of Pentacles, is like the good, is a, the best option for a new start, right? An actual financial new start to here, um, but they're not offering their cup. Um, they're not wanting to make a decision and then they don't feel strong about this other person. So, um, I think there's definitely a, um, there's a, uh, yeah. And this came out in the horizontal might of cups. I don't know who to, or I'm just going to try and spill my cup and give it to everybody. So yeah, you've got somebody on the fence here. Um, high priest, uh, yeah. With the ace of wands, I don't know who I want to bed down. Yeah. Nah, that's some player energy right there. Right. Um, so let's see here. I don't like it. Like it says they're not a love bomber. Well, I guess they're not a love bomber. They're just, a, you know, um, yeah, holding back with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords and holding back, like not saying anything as well. Right. So, all right. Um, <laughs> I'm like, what a bummer. Hanged man, keeping everybody like in wait. Like, yeah. No, high priestess, this might be a high priest that you're, or the high priest, you can flip this, right? Um, but I definitely feel like there's a person here that might be trying to put you in a holding pattern uh, because they don't want to, yeah, king of cups. Yeah. All right. If this feels like you're, you're reading, then just go ahead with the ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, lots of water and all that other stuff in here. But anyways, hey, you know what? Good to know right this is why we check in this is why but um this is an active scenario that's happening right now yeah three of pentacles i think this person's gonna try and make it work with everybody so if you have any other options going on go ahead and take those okay because i just want you to know that you're only 50 percent of this person's option 
right? And um, I get a feeling like there's history with this Page of Cups energy. Like there's this immaturity. There's this tete-a-tete -tete type of like karmic, like nana nana boo boo, but we do this to each other. Like they've probably been doing it for a long time. So sometimes it's really difficult to, you know, things are, it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't. So anyways, things can change, but I'm just saying, yeah, a page. And it's still a page. They're just showing up as a, as a child, right? So... Um, if you want to know who's in your DMs that this applies to, then contact me for a personal reading. Uh, all of my links are in the description. And mwah, I will see you later, High Priestesses. Bye.